Hey liberals, just a daily reminder of your hypocrisy. If you're all for women's rights, but you want to cancel women who disagree with you, you're not for women's rights. Hope this helps. So there is a lot to unpack there, starting with women's rights in quotes, which makes me wonder why you would put women's rights in quotes. It's almost as if you don't know what putting something in quotes implies or means. Yeah, so this one's going to be real complicated to understand, but women's rights aren't that you have to agree with all women. You can absolutely not agree with a woman and still be a feminist or still be for women's rights or even still be for that woman. Being a feminist does not mean that you let women do idiotic things or say idiotic things. In fact, it means the opposite, meaning you treat them the same too. So just like an idiot guy, an idiot woman should be called out for saying idiotic things. Canceling people, whatever that means, because that's just some bullshit term that doesn't actually mean anything. If you are able to actually fire somebody because you have that power over them, that's a different conversation. But society canceling somebody is just bullshit and hysteria that's been blown way out of proportion. If you don't like a comedian and you don't like their jokes, you don't pay to see them. If you do like them, then you do. You don't get canceled. There's not like a committee that votes on who gets canceled and who doesn't. It's an important thing we should probably talk about. Liberals don't have a monthly meeting where they discuss all the GOP conservative freak show weirdos and who should be canceled this month. That doesn't actually happen. You, you understand that, right? Individuals make individual choices and they decide that they don't like the music, the movie, the voice, the attitude, the opinion, and then they don't partake in it. So your oversimplification is mind-numbingly annoying. You're disingenuous, which you know because you posted this video. I don't really think you're looking to have a real conversation or to deal with fact. Because if we're going to talk about facts and liberalism, liberals are responsible for your freedom of speech. Yes, that's right. That is a liberal concept. The idea of freedom, a freedom of speech, of the pursuit of happiness, those are liberal concepts. I've never quite understood this whole anti-liberal, anti-woke thing. When I hear people say that shit, I literally think, oh, you don't think disabled people should have access to movie theaters or to government buildings. That's what I hear. I hear, oh, I think that eight-year-old children should be forced to work 14 hours in a sweatshop. That's what I hear when you say you hate liberals and you hate liberalism because all of those things were stopped because of liberal views. The ability for women to have capacity over their bodies, to make their own financial decisions, their own medical decisions, those are liberal concepts. So when you say you don't like liberals, I just hear that you don't like disabled people, that you don't like children. So it's actually not hypocritical for liberals, as you like to call them, to hold women to the same standard as they hold men to. That's not hypocritical at all. So canceling some woman who's not great, that's actually totally in line with liberal principles. Hope that helps.